NBC 6 is Sydney Simone. Fox 33 Sydney Simone. Our Sydney Simone caught up with both of them today. She is live with more on their story. Sydney. Good morning, Brad Fernando. Well, most of the region is buried in snow. And surprisingly, I did see a few people out walking around. I mean, it's not often that this area gets snow, so I do understand, but you got to stay safe. Texas Independent School District says about 80% of their students plan to return to the classroom this fall. A group of about four boys are going car door to car door, hoping to find one that's open. Once they get inside, they're reaching for anything they can find of value. No excuse for guys not to take their ladies out for Valentine's Day since it's going to be all, right? <laughs> okay. Local Baptist Church is approaching the Historic District Commission for permission to tear down a house constructed back in 1905. But one thing I want to point out, please do not forget to bring your mask. If you don't have a mask, you won't be able to go inside. You won't be able to vote. Standing outside one of the vaccine locations, the other is Walmart. It looks like Marshall got about one to three inches of snow, just enough to make a snowball or build a snowman. Let me tell you first, I'm from the Midwest where it snows all the time, but I didn't think that I'd move down to Texas and have the snow follow me down here. Welcome back. I'm Sydney Simone. Tim is out on assignment to the CenturyLink Center. We go parade is set to start at 7 p.m. on Broad Street right here at downtown Texarkana. Are you guys ready for the parade? Yeah, yeah. What are you excited about? I'm excited for the candy. <laughs> All right. Within the last month, the Texarkana region has experienced two water related accidents. In Hempstead County, Sheriff James Singleton says his agency is informing the public about the executive order, but leaving the decision to wear a face mask up to the residents. Dozens of people packed the room at the police training center to honor our Texarkana law enforcement. What you hear right now is the sound of the people of Shreveport standing in solidarity for the racial injustice and divide in this community. Leaders with the Texarkana Chamber of Commerce gathered with other leaders across the area today to discuss the issue of litter in our communities. Residents are demanding that the statue that's been here for over a century be removed from all public displays. The wait is finally over. Medical professionals say they've been on edge all week anticipating the arrival of Pfizer's vaccine. This means that the hospital has 100 beds. Only 15 of them can actually be filled with COVID-19 patients. School administration says parents can always download the Safe Stop bus app to track route changes and monitor alerts. Here in New Boston, Texas, testimony in the trial for the woman accused of murdering her boyfriend at her home in Bowie County is ongoing. Mayor Allen Brown says the purchases of personal protective equipment like masks, hand sanitizers, and soaps helped increase sales in the city. <laughs> well, Brad, I definitely got hit a couple times while capturing the moment, but it was definitely well worth it. The experience was amazing to say the least. Now, instead of sitting around the house and waiting for all of this snow to melt, many Texarkana residents were taking advantage and making the best of the situation. Here at St. Paul Baptist Church, the National Panhellenic Council is providing comfort to voters, not only for the spirit, but for the body. Starting this Saturday, residents will only have one option for their recyclables to throw it in the trash. Lines downtown on Marshall Street in Embosure have been wrapped around the building since this morning, and the lines are about 20 to 40 minutes long. I'm going to actually step out of the shot here now just so you can get a closer look at this line. Healthcare workers say the process takes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the number of cars ahead of you. Experts say you should take a deep breath and make a budget before coming out to shop for Black Friday. So much excitement surrounding this year's matchup between Grambling State and Southern University, known as the Bayou Classic. The NAACP says today's open dialogue is an effort to bring unity to the city and citizens of Texarkana. Dr. Mary Martin says wearing protective socks and shoes that cover your whole foot is the best way to prevent you from stepping on foreign objects. Now that gyms are back open, things are a little bit different. Management says they've placed out of order signs on certain machines to keep the distance in between people. Davis is expected to start January 18th and the board plans to renovate the Shreveport Regional Airport. We're still working to confirm the details of what actually led to the fire that did break out at 3 a.m. this morning. Checking for impaired drivers. Again, I'm at a non-disclosed location in Bossier Parish. Back to you, Dan. We don't get this this often. I've never seen this this bad in Texas County at all. Less than 24 hours since the second storm hit the Arklatex, resources are limited. Gas stations are closed with no answers as to when Texarkana will get shipments of unleaded gas. Some local grocery stores are open with a limited supply of food. Hope is over soon. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I prepared, you know, I went to the store, got all the stuff, you know, but 
still there were things that you didn't think about, you know, like like rock salt and traffic through the city is minimal, but a few people are out walking the streets. One resident says this winter storm was needed. I was kind of glad that it happened, you know, get people to sit, sit down away from this coronavirus thing. You know, everybody's out partying, doing this, but you bring snow, everybody stays put. Police say even though the storms are passing over, the roads are still treacherous. With snow melting during the day and refreezing at night, it could be days before we see clear pavement. So there aren't any road closures right now in Texarkana with the exception of the flyover. You can't get from 369 to Loop on to either eastbound or westbound I-30. Although tractors, sand, and salt trucks are currently out clearing the roads, many streets in Texarkana have the potential of being dangerous. Cedric Harris Jr., or as friends and family called him, CJ, an honor student, four-sport athlete, All-American, and member of the USA Baseball Organization, left his mark in his short 14 years of life. CJ suffered a concussion following an ATV accident over spring break. He was such a physically fit kid. As an eighth grader, CJ had scholarships to play baseball and football for Louisiana State, where his mother and father both played. Many coaches, teammates, and professional athletes wanted to pay tribute to this young talent. He was a loving, caring brother. On behalf of all of the players in the NBA, we send our thoughts and prayers to CJ's family and loved ones. Kind-hearted, smart, respectful, just a few of the qualities that made CJ such a special young man. I know CJ loved the NBA. He was not only an incredible athlete, but an extremely kind young man. I'm here to support the hashtag Be Like CJ movement. We want you to know that CJ will forever be part of our LSU family. As an outperforming athlete, his family says CJ remained humble. He wanted all his attention to be redirected towards positive things. So his family started a foundation and movement, hashtag Be Like CJ, in honor of his life. Sticking up for the kids who are being bullied, um, include those kids who are not being included, um, whether it be sitting at the table at lunch by themselves, whether it be a kid who doesn't play sports. CJ's dad, Cedric Harris Sr., says the Be Like CJ Foundation will provide scholarships, toy and school supply drives, and meals for the homeless. That 14 years was very impactful. Um, he touched a lot of people. In my opinion, as a, as a father, I'm more proud of those things than I am the athletic achievements. Even though I am very proud of what he achieved on the field, off the field, he trumped it.